You know, I was from a small town. My dad was owned a little variety store. He and my mom were, were born in a, in a, or raised during the Depression. And both of them had to, when they were uh, in the sixth grade, had to quit school and, um, and go to work. And so, you know, there was never anyone in our family that had ever gone to college. My mom kept telling me, you know, you're going to go to college. And um, I, th I really thought I could be a lawyer because every, every school that I've ever attended from, a, from grade school on up, the teachers used to get, get upset with me because I would argue so much. And um, I said, you, see, you know, you should, you should, you should, what you should do is consider being a lawyer. And so I, that's what I thought I was going to do. And I was pretty sure I was going to do that. So when I got out of the uh, Navy, I took my law exam. At that time, my wife was expecting, and I was uh, with no funds. I didn't know one person in Seattle, and so uh, I decided I, I couldn't do that. So I had to go out and get another job. So John's key to success are so many things to, to list, but I, I will name the ones that I think are most important and that he clearly taught me, and it starts with the word integrity. He lives by that word literally every day. I've known him over 40 years, and I have never known him to be any different than to live by integrity. He is all about heart. He is all about giving back. And I have never seen anybody more like him that would do anything he can to help anyone for anything they need. Well, I think I'm very good at hiring people. I think I really have a, I have a knack of finding great people. It's something that's, you know, just natural. I just you know I can, I can, five minutes, I can tell you where they're gonna hit it off and if this is a hard worker or if this is, you know, I mean, yeah. So I mean, that, that was number one. Number two, I'm a hard worker. My dad and mom were, from the sixth grade on, they had to work, and so I, I was around a working environment all my life, and so I worked to me. I was there at you know at six o'clock in the morning, till seven o'clock at night every day, and so I started meeting people, and you know eventually we started doing doing some business. He is a hard worker. I don't remember growing up one Saturday. I mean, we'd have to be on vacation for him to take a Saturday off. He worked six days a week, you know, coat and tie, every day. Discipline is, a, is something I really think about when I think about my dad because he doesn't just work hard without intention. He has this intention of an everyday discipline. And so he gets up in the morning, he works out, followed by um, going through his handful of three by five cards of affirmations that he wants in his life. Most of us, if not all of us, constantly affirm things that are negative. I'll, I'll never do that. I'm not smart enough. Uh, all those th thoughts going through people's minds. And people talk themselves in and out of things without them realizing it. I don't think many people really realize what, it, what their potential is, and how big it is, how phenomenal it is, how great they can be if they, want, if they really want to be. There's always a right way to do everything. There's not just, well, there's several different, no, there's a right way to do it, right way to how to, treat people the right way how to, to, to uh, uh, call on people, and prospects, you know, to answer objections, to, you know, to be, you know, be a friend, be a mentor. Let me tell you, I've had kids call me and ask me if I'd be a mentor. I have never turned them down. I, I just say, think kids don't realize that there are a lot of people out there that could help them. And I think kids need a, kids need a mentor. One of the things that he has set his mind to do is to help students uh, get the education that they deserve. And so he, one of the things he does is he provides funding to make sure that kids from White River High School um, get the, enough funding in order to be able to go to college. So every year he, we interview a number of kids. It's called the Meis Mary Meisenbach Scholarship, named after his mom. It's a school that he went to. He usually says, Michelle, we're choosing two. And then we end up choosing four. He can't say no, you know? So so he's like, what about, but what about? So anyways, we end up uh, choosing somewhere between two and six kids a year. He's very, um, very invested in education. He truly is a person that just would take his shirt off his back for anyone. But what makes him so special is the heart he's got, how much he gives back. A lot of people are, have a lot of wisdom in business, um, but maybe don't have that heart. He's, he's one in a million. <laughs>